in Champaign, they love the Illini. Travis Forney to kick off for Penn State. And deep for Illinois will be Steve Hubbard and Brandon Lloyd. That's Lloyd on the left of your screen. So they are downwind. And this one should go out of the end zone if he connects solidly. He's a consistent kicker, so I would think so. I would agree with you. The wind really gusting now. And we're underway. This kick will sail all the way out of the end zone and into the stands. That's the first down for Kittner. And it's a loss on the play. LeVar Arrington makes his first big play of the game. Talent-wise, Penn State has the best defensive personnel in the country. Courtney Brown is a great player. Fleshauer, Kennedy, and Ker Kerpakis, all very, very solid. The Lions also have the best linebacker core in the nation. Arrington, Short, and Mac Morrison. And in the secondary, I told you about the short corners. They're all under six feet. King is 5'8", but they are talented. This is Harvey. And Harvey's out to the 30-yard line, close to a first down. First down is Kittner. He's got problems. He's got company, and he's sacked. Courtney Brown got there first. Penn State. Now, you look at it from the quarterback's perspective. No one's there. No one's there. There's no blockers in the backfield either. And if you don't find anybody open, you have to get rid of it. Kittner under center. Here comes the pressure again. Throw and looking for Harvey. Incomplete. No flags. Good coverage. A return of seven. Tilly starting lineups offensively for Penn State. The offensive line averages 300 pounds. McKenzie, Cole, Iorio, Caruso, and John Blick. A graduate student, a senior, two juniors, and a freshman on that front. Skill position, Shafi Fields is the big play guy. He's one of the best playmakers in college ball. Drummond is the fastest. And in the backfield, a lot of depth. Kevin Thompson, the quarterback. Eric McCoo, and the fullback, Mike Saramelli. First down, Nittany Lions. Good field position for Penn State. Three-step drop, looking deep. Let's go, let's go. Going to Fields. And outstanding. Crazy. You're breaking his heart. Third down and long for Thompson across the middle. He goes intercepted. Abdullah with the interception, the first turnover of the game. Kittner again with a lot of company in the backfield. And throws it away. Kittner needs eight. There's the quick drop. And the pass is dropped. He's still the quarterback. Here's the give to Harris. Big hole into the secondary. And Aaron is ready just in case. Second down and long. Here's Harris again. They need 11. Thompson to the swing man. Incomplete. Top Pigeon has the wind in his back. He gets off a high tail wagger. This punt will be inside the 10 and get a Penn State bounce. And Morrison downs it at the 11-yard line. going to happen and try to plan accordingly. They want to get rid of it, get into the second half. Here's Harvey on the 56th penalty of the year. Kittner throws. There's your first completion. 81 points. <laughs> first down. This is Harvey with a big hole. Not overlooking Illinois. Here's Kittner. First down for the Illini. And it's caught. Whitman out all the way to the 33-yard line. Here's Harvey. Big hole. See you later. Touchdown, Illinois. 34 yards for Rocky Harvey. First down, Lions. Plenty of time. Swing pass. There's his completion. There goes Watson. Watson's hands and made that completion and the move to chance. Gives straight ahead to Harris. Breaks a tackle and bangs it out. Second down and four. This is McCoo. He loses yardage. Third down and seven. Thompson with time. Still on his feet, but McCoo was tagged. First down the line now. Here's Harvey again. Breaks a tackle, gets to the edge, and runs out of bounds. Walter Young got a first down. And again, they go to Harvey and nothing there this time. Also a psychologist. <laughs> Here 
There he is again. Harvey to the 49. Gilmore goes to the top of the screen. He's tight end. Long count to Thompson. Into the flats. Has it complete. This is McCoo. McCoo breaks two tackles. Out to the Top third. Jerry Gannon right here on ABC Sports. Thompson on second and long run sports. Got the first. Thompson still loose. To midfield. Kevin Thompson. Falls loose. We have a blitz coming from the top of your screen, and if you don't get the quarterback, he ducks up inside. Now you see the lane open up, and we don't have a sprinter here, but this is the play they expect out of Richard Casey. Looking deep, Thompson goes to the out. To the 36-yard line at Michigan. Here's Harris again. But this drive is at six plays, and it's going 53 yards per state. Here's McCoo with a big hole. Gets a block inside the 20, down to the seventh. Here's our guy right there. Watch 36 plow right in the middle. He's just staying on his rear end. Just stay right behind him. But McCoo does a great job of following him into the hole. A gain of 14. They move the chains. Thompson now appears to have found his rhythm. A little reverse. Crenshaw loses yard. Thompson with a quick out. He's got a man. It's Mitchell. And Mitchell's down to the 14. Thompson looking for Fields. Got him in the corner. Touchdown, Penn State. Joffy Fields, the big play guy, has his 25th reception of the year and his fifth touchdown. Tony Francis, the cornerback, bites on this play. This is not the easiest ball to throw, but Chaffee Fields runs a great route. Catches a little duck coming his way. And the guy trailing there, 33 Francis out of position. As both touchdowns scored in the ball game, we're going into the win. Right. Kittner is going to be sacked. <laughs> Third down and long for Kittner, and again there's pressure. Ball's loose. And Butkus gets it back. Courtney Brown knocked it loose. Top, you'll see him right there. Just watch Courtney Brown. Watch the footwork. Watch the strength. He gets there in a hurry. And, you know, one of the strengths of Kittner is 7-7. This late into the first half is a victory for them. Absolutely. Here's the play action. They go out into the flats to Sarah Melly. And he's out of bounds at the fields in motion. The give to Mitchell. Didn't make it. Penn State. Fake. First down. Penn State. Ah, oh, Joe still got him up his sleeve. Coach saw something in film this week, and that's what he saw, an all-out rush. Boy, Maurice Daniels didn't have anybody around him when he got this down, and Penn State needs 12. Third down for Penn State. They need eight. Thompson looks over the middle. Has it complete. McCoo down to the 25-yard line. Thompson, with time, throws out to the flat, but it's not enough for the first. He found Eddie Drummond, but Drummond did not get past the sticks. Not playing well defensively and offensively. Harvey. Third down and four. Kittner. Incomplete. It was entirely intended for Walter Young. Didn't give it away yet. You know it, huh? Yes. Oh, we're all over it. Oh, yeah. Former Big Ten coach. I'll have that answer for you in a minute. Here's first down for Rashard Casey, the new quarterback. Casey, this is what he does best. Still on his feet at the 46-yard line. This is McCoo. Got the first down into Illinois territory. Second down and 10. McCool. That's not a play action formation. It's a partner. See if he quarterback sneaks. He 
He's got the first. Ten for the Nittany Lions. McCoo again. To the 35, the quarterback. Five-step drop, backside pressure, and he's sacked. Fred Wakefield gets his fourth sack now, of the year. He was a tight end when he came in. Now he's up to almost 2-7. High spiraling foot. Hits at the 10 and dies there. Good kick. A 31-yard kick by Pat Pigeon. Trying to protect your guys. You know, LeVar hasn't had the numbers today, but he's been around the football. But his cohort, the guy we talked about off the top, Courtney Brown, has had a wonderful day. There are the numbers on the season for LeVar. Brown just made that tackle. Well, Courtney has three sacks already here in the first half. And now that bumps him up for a career total of 31. And that's a, a third down and nine. Kendra throwing deep to Lloyd. Incomplete. Terrific coverage by Balju. Gutsy quarterback, a tremendous leader. Here he is, trying to set up the screen. He's got it. There's a hold in the play. They'll bring this one back. Holding offense. It would have been that they, they had to snap the ball. Not a man. It's Drummond inside the 20. Thompson put that one right where only Eddie Drummond could get it. Penn State really sharp in the red zone. Goes over the middle of the tight end, and it's dropped by Tony Stewart. That ball was perfectly thrown, and big old Tony Stewart, the junior, couldn't hold on to it. Eric McCoo in motion. Thompson again with pressure. Reloads, throws a dangerous pass, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Francis. And give the pressure guys half of that interception. Second down and nine. Six. Top of your screen. Straight ahead they go to the 25. They'll mark it All at right, the 26 job, yard line. Yeah, and so yeah. Illinois will have to punt it away and give it back to Penn State. Line. Watch how quickly he gets rid of this ball. It doesn't matter how far he kicks it. Branch goes all the way back to the 20, the 15. Now it's up to the cover team. And that'll end the half. Oh, what a terrific half of football by the Fighting Illini. It ends with a 59-yard punt and terrific coverage by Illinois. But a 7-7 tie, Dean, you've got to believe Illinois is happy with that right now. The key word, believe. Illinois said last week, we don't care what the fans, we don't care what the media thinks about our chances at Michigan. We believe we can win. They pulled out the win. Same thing here. Let's go down Joe. quickly. He knows what the deal is. <laughs> there ain't no. They're ranked number two in the country. Yeah, and they going. better play better. That's right. Take a look at the Morgan Stanley Dean Witter first half statistics all right Penn State doubles in yardage right but they have two turnovers and look at Illinois they have no turnovers and also no penalties that's why the yardage is irrelevant five penalties for Penn State that certainly has many penalties as they had all last year here's Kittner he has it complete to Michael Dean he couldn't get his hands up or the window would have been closed play action and they dump it over top they tried to get Steve Pitts kicking into the wind Oh, look, the wind just holds it up, just stopped it. Bruce Bransfair catches it at the 44, so Kevin Thompson starts at quarterback the second half. And he's looking deep right away, has the post pattern. It's complete to Drummond. And Drummond's inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. This looks like a team that had a serious play fake. Watch what happens on the outside here. Drummond running a little post route, skinny post, and that ball is thrown with authority. A gain of 27. Top of the screen is Field. Bottom of the screen is Drummond. He's looking toward Drummond. He's going to that corner. Overthrown, and he was open. Oh, plenty of distance with the wind at his back, and he splits the sticks. So 12. Rocky Harvey, the lone setback. Getting a three-step drop, and it's batted down. Justin Kirkman. Third down, they need 10. Kittner throws a floater out of bounds. Warm breeze blowing, but it's blowing strongly. Harris. McCoo in motion, second and ten. Here comes the reverse to Drummond. Boy, they've got it set up. 
Inside the 35 to the 30, still on his feet. And Drummond down to the 27. It's a penalty against Penn State, and these are just... Thompson. Looking for Fields. And overthrows him. Well, another one of those. Don't mean this for the first. Show a blitz. Don't bring it. Thompson with time goes to the out pattern. And McCoo is hit. And finally taken down. 11 to play in the third period. First down, Illinois. Again, they run straight ahead. He passes. They're daring him to beat him. Here he throws over the middle, incomplete again. Intended for Walter Young. Coming again. Throws this time. And, oh, what a catch by Walter Young. Oh, my. First down, Illinois. Here's Kittner. Giving it straight ahead. Back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Over the middle of Michael Dean. Ball's loose. Incomplete. This is a play you have to hold on to if you're Michael Dean. It's easier said than done because watch the hit delivered by Boyd. James Boyd will tag you. Oh, absolutely. Second down, Thompson throws over the middle of the field. It's complete. It's a first down, and Fields has his third catch of the day. Muhammad Abdullah makes this. Shoppy Fields finds a, a spot in the zone, a soft spot. Ball rifled down. Fields' speed is deceptive. Mm -hmm. Thompson again on first, goes to Fields, has another first down, and here come the Nittany yes. Lions. I think Ron Dane will show up on more ballots than anyone. Oh, yeah, and the Joe Hamilton is the leader right now, but it's again, they're on their feet at Memorial Stadium. Thompson with time. Has it picked off. Tony Francis with the interception. But he hasn't made the mistakes and thrown the interception. Here's a big hole. Rocky Harvey, third down and four. Not enough for the first. It's stressful, but in the long run, they help you. Rashad Casey, the quarterback, and the ball carrier is Mitchell. Mitchell. There's one here. They want the one big one here. Straight ahead, they go to Johnson. He's got the first. First down play action for Casey. This is where he's dangerous. Now throws, has the completion. Found his tight end. And Gilmore rambles down inside the 20 to the 16-yard line. When you have a quarterback that scares you to death that he's going to run it, just put yourself in the defense's shoes. Now you've got to come up. Now you don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen is he's going to have a wide open receiver more times than not. Right now, you can see Illinois' defense starting to slow. First down, Nittany Lions. Looks like a broken play. Easy, easy. For a touchdown. Tony Stewart makes the catch. Casey makes it happen. No flags. Perfect example of a two quarterback system working. When they hit Caruso. He hasn't played much today. As you roll the tape, you're going to see it wasn't a busted play, but you see the pulling guard there by Caruso. They touched one another. Linebacker just late getting over, Tim. Pretty good series here for Casey. I think he prefers to throw it on the run. Get outside and use that action. Courtney Brown with your 86 for Mikeville. Lee Wilson. Here's Rocky Harvey. And he can, may not be as dominant as some people had predicted. As they get another incompletion in Arizona. Third down and long. Kittner is going down. Courtney Brown with another sack. His fourth. The gentle giant. You have to pass it. You telegraph that to the defense. That's not a good sign when you have Courtney Brown, a guy that listened to these numbers, 4-5 in the 40. 4-0 in the classroom. He's 6-5 and has a wingspan of 86 inches. No hold, no hold. <laughs> another floating punt. It's short. Branch will take it. He's got room. Inside the 35. Well, oh, you're always really welcome. <laughs> Richard Casey escapes. Casey inside the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Casey. Wow. 34 yards for Richard Casey.
And that was Houdini-like. I don't believe what I just saw. This is one of the greatest plays of the year. His capability, you bet. We talk about his wide receiver speed at under 4'5". Well, watch his running ability. As good as a tailback. And he sees the lane right here and takes off. <laughs> he just pushed Cerebelli out of the way. That confidence has just been rocked. Look out. Here we go. Harvey. Oh, he's just barely tripped up from behind at the 45 by Adams. So first down and 15 for the Illini. Almost picked off by Jimmy Kennedy, the 6'5", 330 pounder. And I mean to tell you folks, he is a load. Second down and 15 for the Illini. Pressure on Kittner. Incomplete flags fly. This is going to be interference called against James Boyd. Second down and eight for the Illini. Kittner throws behind Dean, and Kittner continues to, and almost nine. Here's Harvey, and runs into his own man. Ran right into Jake, three yards out. Plenty of leg. No good. And he misses. Mm. That sure has blocked that field goal at the end of the first half against Purdue last week. Said that even if once he came in, things changed dramatically. Here he is again. To Sarah Melly incomplete. Conversation with the official. And this is going to go against Stones. He had those removed in the hospital and came back to practice and they had a nice game against Notre Dame. They couldn't pull it off, and here goes. Richard Casey again for a huge game. Finally stopped by Flood. We can see this hole open, and he can see it too, right there. And at the, with the angles, the defense, Tim still couldn't get to it. That was an angle. Yeah. Donate two one thousand dollar high school scholarships. Here's Casey let's go, going let's deep go, go. as a man incomplete. Fields was open, and an official is down. It's the quarterback draw. Rashad Casey escapes one, and then Rashad goes down at the 23, 47. Kick it into the wind. It's gone. It's gone. Got the distance. Splits the sticks. And add three more for the Nittany Lions. Straight ahead. Tough yard. Yeah, Luke Butkus. Terrific story. Second down and nine. Kinder is hit from behind by Brandon Short. An absolute superstar. I mean, he'd be the guy getting all the headlines. He got there in a hurry, folks, and when he gets there, he delivers a blow. They're blitzing from all angles. LeVar from this side, which opens up the lane. Yeah, we said that at the top of the telecast. I certainly have believed that all year. Kittner again with pressure, throws over the middle and has Dean open for the first down. Michael Dean to Savage. Here they come again. Pass blocked. Boyd. Yeah, sure true respect his play. Third down and 10 for Kittner. He pump fakes and looks for Dean and overthrows him. Really hasn't he given him to a 7-0 start. And then Penn State scored 27 unanswered points. It was 7-7 at the half. And Casey has been sensational quarterback this afternoon. There is a tip pass and almost intercepted by Derek Fox. But he couldn't quite hear he has had them for a seventh tournament win. Just a phenomenal year. Here's the give again to Jameel Cook, and Cook carries it out near Michael Dean at the bottom of the screen, Lewis at the top. First down for Johnson, a sack from behind by Arrington. Left of your screen, 11. Havard is trying to get up on him high, and he has no chance. You know, that Havard is the guy that I talked to. But they work. They absolutely do, and they're extremely strong. Three-step drop throws, almost picked off by Arrington. Look at him. He's upset because he knows that ball was in his Brett Johnson. They don't get this. Turn out the lights. Johnson throws deep. He's looking for Harvey. And again, it's in the hands of LeVar Arrington. And again, he's upset he didn't make the pick. And again, he smiles. Can this guy play? Three plays ago, he sacks the quarterback. The last play, he drops into coverage on a slant and almost intercepts it. And on this play, watch him up here. 
Right there he is. Keep That's in mind. Man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's big. He's 6'3", 245 pounds. The guy he's covering <laughs> is 5'9", 174. Oh, what an example of his athleticism. <laughs> Very tough defensive ball club next week, Minnesota, before finishing against Michigan and Michigan State. Third down and eight. The swing pass, Mitchell. To the 45. <laughs> Illinois and Ron Turner's doing a fine job. A lot of pressure coming again in the sack. The second half to get it done. Ron Turner's doing a fine job. Here's the run by Cook. All the way out to the 32-yard line. Touchdown. He ran seven times for 75 yards and the touchdown. Here's a pass over the middle, and it's picked off by Derek Fox. So Penn State now will melt the clock. For Harvey. The depth is incredible. Their coaching staff. You know, they have 199 years collectively on their coaching staff, very similar to Florida State. Team speed, absolutely. And that'll do it. So Penn State gets the win in what turned out to be a tough first half, but they dominated in the second half. The Nittany Lions go to 9-0, 5-0 and in the conference. Once again, the final score, Penn State 27, Illinois 7. Now stay tuned for the thrifty postgame ABC Sports Online at ESPN.com, part of the Go.